Over in Weiss County, a community leaning on each other now as they mourn the loss of a little girl killed last week. And we're going to show people who feel otherwise, people who are evil, not in our county and not our kids. A sea of pink and tears as hundreds of people attended a candlelight vigil for seven-year-old Athena Strand at the Weiss County Courthouse last night. Authorities there say 31-year-old Tanner Horner has now confessed to killing Athena. Paradise ISD Assistant Superintendent Robin Gibson says the bubbly little girl touched her life and the lives of so many others in that community. Athena was a free spirit. She was a happy girl and she was very verbal, kind, loving. Well, the community says through love and through faith, they will get through this together. More vigils will be held tonight to honor Athena. There is one in the town of Paradise at First Baptist Cottondale. If you want to show your support, but you can't make it to Paradise, there's another vigil at the Cafe Republic in Fort Worth. Both vigils, by the way, start at 6 o'clock tonight. There are still so many unanswered questions about the accused killer and what led to this horrible tragedy. CBS 11 went to the Fort Worth neighborhood where Tanner Horner lived. Neighbors say he lived with his mother and his grandmother. They say they didn't see him or talk to him much, but his FedEx truck was there often. Horner is in the Weiss County Jail being held on a $1.5 million bond. You can follow all of these developments as we continue to learn more about the death of Athena Strand. Stay with CBS 11 on air and online at CBSDFW.com and streaming on CBS News Dallas Fort Worth for any ongoing coverage and details that we may have for you.